Well, well, well. Fancy seeing you here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today is episode 20, which means it's a download day. And if you're new here and you don't know what that means, well, um, I'll, it basically means you just go to the description and you can download the world. And, and, and I basically do that so you guys can play along with me. Maybe you can build things to suggest to me, you know, just have a little fun. So if you're looking to play on the world, everything up until this episode, or I guess the end, of this episode uh, will be in the download. And I know you guys are great at showing the love on these episodes, so thank you in advance. Uh, I'm excited because today I have a jam packed schedule. It's gonna be is gonna be a good episode. I wanna do a few things. I wanna fix the redstone door, first of all, because that has been taking way too long. I wanna finish the underwater tunnel, I wanna decorate the aquarium, and I wanna add fish to it, and I think it's gonna be very fun. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was the project wall, and there is a new way I want this series to be run. So we have a few projects on the wall, make a nether wart farm, begin working on a farm area and create a wheat farm, uh, make a horse stable, a tree house, repopulate the village, trade and you know, build up, maybe add some buildings or a wall. You, you guys can read them all. These are the projects and I think in order to pick what I'm doing next in the series, I think I just want you guys to just leave a comment to which things you want to see done. And the reason for that is because up until now, I would just search for a comment I liked and then I would do that comment. But that, that most of the time may not have taken into consideration what everybody wants. So by doing that, if you guys all leave feedback, I'll be able to pick uh, what people want to see the most. So yeah, I, I think it'll be a good system. And now that that's out of the way, we can come over here to our little redstone secret passageway. So we started on this a few episodes ago and now was having trouble with the redstone in fact I still think it's uh, I, I think it's still messed up so if I were to do okay it's just not it's just not on all right <laughs> the issue is is this torch right here so a ton of you guys helped me out and commented that um so this torch was was the was the main issue and I think without that I'm pretty sure it works flawlessly yeah <laughs> all I had to do was yeah that's annoying. Now, if you didn't get to see the actual, um, uh, the, the construction, it's very simple. There's a comparator behind the item frame that leads out to, uh, to a, to a torch. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is all unnecessary up here. Could have done it much easier. <laughs> but the redstone then comes down and powers both of the pistons and they work just like that. So if I were to try it, as you could see, um, if, if I put blocks onto these pistons, the door would be shut. Then if I take the item out of the frame, the door will be open and then I can put it back and it'll do just the same thing. However, there's a little issue with this. Um, I, I can't really lock the door behind me. So I got a fix for that. And that fix is simple, just add a little delay. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring some repeaters in here. I think I'll do like three uh, fully ticked and then and then I'll go back over here just like that. And, uh, and I don't have uh, I don't have enough redstone. <laughs> so I'll put these two down and now that I have a delay, I think it's three full ticked and then these aren't ticked so they, they don't really add much to it. But now what I should be able to do is if I take this out, the door will open, right? So the door is open. Then I put this back in and that gives me enough time to get inside. But there you go, so that's that. So I think that is, that's all set. Now I, I just gotta add, um, add a little a little bit of uh finishing touches and we'll we'll be completely set yeah it closes oh that's nice and then anytime i need to do a quick escape just come through here that'll open put that down run through and it closes behind i'm a big fan i'm a very big fan and then if i ever need to go back through for any reason i can i can just quickly uh quickly break it i could probably add a way to open it from the other side as well wouldn't be too hard maybe i'll do that later but our door is fine oh did i put those in the wrong yeah okay our door is finally done perfect and thank you guys for all the help a ton of you uh, gave suggestions on twitter um with pictures of it i'll, I'll maybe put up one or two but um oh you, 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 you chill out i'm trying to talk to the people 
So next up on the to-do list, we gotta we gotta fix up this area. This is gonna be the hub. This is gonna be the big kahuna, the big uh, the big center, the center of I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Basically, the plan is is you come down here and this will be the main area, and there'll be three branches, uh, one going off in this direction, that direction, and that direction, and and I'll put farms maybe on one, uh, different storage areas. I, I I don't know. I'll have I'll have different wings of my base essentially so um it'll be pretty cool and i want to make this look a little bit better and i had a little tease for you guys in the last episode there are a few things that you may not have seen so i added a whole bunch of water um <laughs> as you can see i still i, I missed plenty of spots <laughs> i covered all of the floor with sand and then i added this light blue stained glass in a general shape now the actual tunnel i want it to be more of like an arch and then i want this middle area to be like a dome but i felt like we had to start somewhere also the glass i, I have a i have a texture that i'll leave in the description that takes away the borders which makes this look so much better um, with the borders, it just it just doesn't look that good. So, uh, so yeah, this is the area. Now, I want to I want I want to show you guys something. You may be thinking, ah, Jack, I don't know this. This doesn't look this doesn't look that cool. Just just give me a second. All it takes is one of these bad boys and take a peek at that. It's so nice. It's so nice. So obviously, I've got to add, um, I want to add seagrass, plants, kelp, coral, uh, and then a ton of fish in this aquarium. And I also need to finish getting all the water up there situated and all the flowing stuff fixed but it's gonna look cool so basically the idea for the tunnel is to have just a cool little walkway that'll take me to different areas of my base and I can see there'll be fish swimming over me um a, a, a nice environment from me it's like a reverse fish tank where I'm inside of the outside of the tank that doesn't make sense at all <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started working on it today. I, I want to continue where I left off and just start working on the glass a little bit and adding some supports because right now it just doesn't look doesn't look right. It's it's too rectangular and it just there's it's nothing but glass. So I want to add some supports and for that I want to use some of the prismarine we just gathered. So one of the ideas I had was to use this dark prismarine as kind of like a border to the walkway. So I'm going to put it under the glass uh, that's over here. So it'll be something, something like this a little bit, you know, nothing too crazy. I gotta go get all the glass that's now floating away. All right, so that is done. As you can tell, it's looking, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I've started also to work on pillars, and, and these are going to be like supports. So they'll be like a U, hopefully. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly how far uh, between each uh, uh, each of these I want to make. So I think I'll go five between. So if it's five between. Ooh. Ooh, okay, do I want to do five between? And then, uh, five between this? Yeah, there we go. So that'll bring us right here. And then maybe one more pillar right there. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. So I'm going to put pillars here, and we'll see if that looks good. Hopefully it does. Okay, I'm feeling this. So the supports are are, are, are starting. To, they're not done, but they're close. They're close. So I got uh, I got the lining all set up, a few of the pillars done. Uh, I got to figure out what I want to do over there, but it's looking kind of cool. Now, one thing that I definitely want to try is um, I want to see how it would look if I were to replace... Uh, all of this stuff um, with with panes instead of instead of full blocks now the reason I want to do this is because I feel like they'll add a little bit of depth to it you know because it, it makes the pillars stick out more I, I think I think it'll look good also another thing that um, I didn't realize that would happen is you can kind of see the water moving behind it which is which is cool because over here you don't you don't see the water. Yeah, so looking at the two sides, I like the depth it adds. So I'm gonna keep it going, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna add uh, more of this along along the side. And it's easy, because all I have to do is just break the other glass and, and turn it into panes. And I'm pretty sure I'll actually save a good amount by doing this as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh boy, it's looking good, it's looking good. So I've added the uh, the panes, I've, I've added this other arch as well. I also put um th these lanterns in the middle and I've been adding 
connecting um a connecting line i guess along the middle of the of the uh, what would you call it the tunnel as you can tell feel like it adds a little more structure so i'm doing that and i think once i get done with this tunnel i think we'll move on to decorating the water um because i'm not exactly sure what i want to do with uh with this area yeah okay it's coming along very nicely so the new additions um obviously the side panes we talked about but i also decided to add some uh, some lanterns up in the top and then i'm connecting uh the middle row with with slabs like that just to give a little more structure and i'm i'm liking how it's feeling so far so obviously got a little more to do here but once i finish this tunnel i think i'll move on to decorating uh the outside because uh, I feel like all this is going to be the same, and I, I really don't know how I'm going to turn this into a dome, so I, I gotta figure that out as well, but y we're making progress. And you guys know if we're going to be working underwater, we gotta grab this guy right here. Our conduit, we made it in the last episode, and I think it's... It's appropriate. I think it's just about time we bring it in here. And uh, and I guess we could just put it anywhere and then I'll, I'll move it later. I think it would be really cool to have it right above the center uh, once I turn this into a dome. But obviously that's not the case yet. So we got to just start somewhere. So let's, let's start with the prismarine frame here. We'll do uh, three like that. Uh, then we'll go around like so. I think the middle will be right here. And now I got to go back. This is, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a little frustrating. Okay, okay, we're making a little progress here. Let's get this all done, and it should be on. Yes, there we go, there we go. Uh, now we'll go ahead and just fill this out a little more, make it a little bit more powerful, why not? So now that we got this conduit set up, we can begin working inside the water. And I think the first thing I want to do here, let me go, um back into the main area here. I think it would look really cool if if instead of all of this uh, this stone and glowstone, um, I, I instead had prismarine brick, uh, prismarine and then and then some sea lanterns too. I think it'll look pretty cool. And by the oh this wait, this tunnel looks awesome in the dark. I was not expecting that. Um, yeah, I like the lantern. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Okay, so, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, and start to patch this up, and we'll get a good idea what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I'm feeling it. So, I, I, I went ahead and replaced a little bit of this, not nearly as... Uh, it's gonna take a while to do the rest of this. But there we go! As you can tell, I think the prismarine, I, I don't know, I like it. I, I really do. I, I'm a big fan. And then, um, if I take this potion of night vision, I, I, I feel like it looks even better. I feel like it looks even better. It looks cool uh, both ways, but, um, I, I feel like the night vision just adds to it. And, um... And, and, and once I have a ton of plants, uh, handmade coral, fish swimming around, it, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to it. It's just just going to take a little while. So I'll work a little bit more. Got to clean up the uh, the water especially. But I'll try to go ahead and finish like this quarter so you guys can get a good idea of what I'm doing here. All right, we're back. I got a little progress report, you see. I, uh, I, I just added, well, I just added more. I just added a little bit more. So uh, the, the, the prismarine goes back to about a quarter of the way, and it also goes up to the, to the roof as well. So, yeah, we, <laughs> we got a whole bunch more. But at least you can sort of see it's coming along. So I think the next step is going to be, um, is going to be to add some plants, some coral, and then the fish. So why don't we get started with that? I think we're just about ready. I gotta just bring some bone meal in, and hopefully it ends up working out. Um, I can just, yeah, just bone meal the ground and see. And another cool thing is with the panes, I can preview how it's looking uh, just by, like, kind of sitting in here, which is uh, something I just found out, and it's actually really helpful. Oh, see? Missed a spot. But yeah, I can just swim around and uh, and try to uh, plant some of this down. Now, I went ahead and put buckets all over the ground, um, and basically what that'll do is allow me to plant, and then if you can see, sometimes uh, things break, and that's because there's no water there, so uh, I guess that's, that's, that's really it. But 
pretty simple stuff. I'm just gonna put a ton of this down, and then I also wanna wanna add a little bit of kelp too to get some high looking plants. So the seagrass is down now. To add the kelp, you can't you can't do it like you normally can. Um, well, okay, that's that's not working anyway. So right here, if I were to do it right here, it would I can't build up. So what you gotta do is this is is kind of annoying. <laughs> it's it's very annoying, but you have to build up with blocks and, and then put water down on each one you want to use. So if I wanted to do this, I would have to put a bucket here and then a bucket here and then a bucket here and then a bucket here. And now I can put kelp up those blocks, but I can't go any further. It's going to take a while to get the kelp down, but the good thing is, is I, I, I can set the heights I want it. So it'll never grow higher than that. Um, that's that's the highest this kelp will be. So that definitely adds a little bit to it. The problem now is that the ground is just simply too dark. And the simple solution to that, my friends, is some sea pickles. So let's bring them in and get these sea pickles down. And I think that'll essentially be it. Now, the only other thing that I really wanted to add is, um, it, it, well, it's just the, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you call it? The actual corals. So the big corals, and I, and I want to make my custom archways and things like that. But those will probably be pretty difficult to implement. And this is one of the... Oh, okay. Maybe that won't work. And that won't either. So with the pickles in, this is what it's looking like. You can definitely see clearly. And I think the fish going through here is going to be so sick. Um, so yeah, this is uh, how it looks without the night vision potions. But I'll probably have um, some sort of thing over here where there could be a pressure plate. And I run over and then it splashes a night vision onto me. I think that would be cool because it, it does look awesome when you have one of those. So I'll go grab one and show you guys. Just walk down here, slurp it up, and it, it, it adds. It adds to it, but it's a, it's a very different feeling. Much more vibrant, but, you know, I, I like it both ways. So you guys can let me know what you like more, um, and we can decide on that. But this is looking pretty solid, so I'll leave this uh, the way it is, and I think... The next thing we gotta do is we gotta go grab our fish and start putting them in. So, uh, I'm just gonna offload the, the things I have and go grab those fish. So I got them. I got the fish. Here they are. A whole bunch of them. Now, I hopefully won't have to put name tags on them. But if that is the case, I, I'm, I'm gonna be a, a sad boy. <laughs> um, I also want to make sure that they don't die by swimming into the, into the area over here. So I want to make sure that this is not going to kill them if they do swim in. And you know what, if they swim over this and go down, actually, you know, I don't think they could get caught. I, I'm pretty sure. If they swim out of this, they'll just fall into here. Yeah, they should be good. So, uh, just start throwing the fish in. Where'd you go, did you go? Did you go in there? Where's, where's he going? Oh no, I, I don't know where he went. Oh, there's a little bugger. Yeah, he made it out. All right, so let me go ahead and, and get the rest of these guys down. So we got tropical fish, cod, all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna, oh. Yo, what is that about? What is that about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the puff, puffer fish attacking me like that? What's up with that? Are you good, dude? I thought, I didn't know you were hostile. Is he gonna do that again? Or is that just because I got too close? I might have just got too close to him. I'm, I'm kind of scared now. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these fish. And I'll put the other puffer fish in away from me. So that doesn't happen again. Oh. Uh-oh. I hear someone flopping. Where are you? Where are you, little guy? Where are you? Someone, <laughs> someone's flopping. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put the rest of these guys down. So you go down, you go down. And Pufferfish, you go far away from me. Joy, he did it again. He spawned right behind me. How did that happen? How? I made sure. I, yeah. Okay. Okay, tough guy. Okay, tough guy. No, but as you can see, they're swimming to the other side. Oh, yeah. So they get big when you swim. I just got to avoid the puffer fish, I guess. Um, or maybe just not have any in there. Because I do want to be able to swim around with the fish. Uh, but it is what it is. So the goal is to be able to just walk through here and, and look around. And it'll be like this. It'll all look that cool. You'll have schools of fish following each other. Big things of coral. Now the one thing that I want to figure out is I need to figure out how to get a dolphin in here. Because that would be awesome. Having dolphins in here would be so sick. I don't think you can catch dolphins in buckets, though. So uh, I'll have to figure out a way to do that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Having the fish just swim around. Obviously, I need a lot more. But 
It's a good start. It's a pretty good start. So now that you guys get the gist of that, I think I'm just gonna do the rest off camera and, and just try to figure it out uh, myself. I'll come back if, if anything important happens, if I figure something out, but it's just gonna be a lot of work to, to get all the prismarine down and stuff like that, and I don't have enough space on my computer to record another two-hour episode. So we'll leave it at that. I, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to finish all the way, but I'll get started with it and we'll see where it goes. I will be back in just a moment. Alright, so I think I'm just about done with this for today's episode. I added a little bit more Prismarine, just a little bit past the the uh, the conduit, but really not not that much at all. So, yeah, I, I guess when you guys download the world, if you do, please uh, add whatever you like. Maybe add small, maybe like a small shipwreck or, or something cool, treasure down in the bottom. So, whatever you want. Um, just give me some ideas and I'll be sure to take a peek at some of them and, and uh, add your suggestions. Now, there is... There is one thing I need to do before I leave, and that is fix this thing right here. I, I don't like how that's wood, so I want to try... I want to try to, I guess, just turn it into stone, maybe? Well, uh, let's try that. Yeah, much better. Uh, the transition still looks kind of strange. I might change that in the future, but it's looking a little better. Uh, so we will leave it at that. Now, there's one more thing, of course, I got to do before the end of the episode, and that is add some people to the subscriber wall. And, oh, I also, uh, I also gotta go fishing. So, these are the subs. It's Mini Mythbusters, L1, V-Droid, and Dominic Krelling. Um, and, and specifically V-Droid, he had, he had a really funny comment. He insisted that he was the one that suggested the ice, so he said in his comment that he was gonna, uh, he, he was just gonna go ahead and take the other guy's name down and, and put him up. But, no worries, no worries. Now you're both on the wall. <laughs> so for this episode, we've got two minutes of fishing. You guys got 2.4 thousand likes on the last one, I think. So let's go ahead and begin. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we've we moved. We've moved the fishing. We'll see if we get more luck up here. It doesn't... Oh, there's a fish. Could it be anything good? No. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, a bow, a bow, that could be good. We'll have to check out what that is uh, once we get done, but we're looking good now, so two minutes. I think we have like a, around a minute left to go, so not too shabby at all. Oh, an enchanted book, that's two nice ones, and we're for sure gonna have enough time to get, okay, okay, yeah, okay, that's the last cast, but we get one more catch, and it's just going to be a regular fish, so let's take a look at our loot, an unbreaking three infinity one bow, that is not bad at all, and the book has, ooh, those are two pretty good enchantments, projectile protection four, and loyalty three. Successful day in the office, if I do say so myself, so we'll hop down here and call it a day. Oh, okay, we good? Yeah, we're good. Let's put those away, and, oh, oh, and the fish too, and... We're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed episode 20. Sorry there wasn't a collab. There will be one soon. However, we got a whole bunch of stuff done, and I cannot wait to show you guys the progress on, on, on the aquarium in the next episode. I will talk to you all in the next one. Have fun with the download. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.